In this section, I'm going to be demonstrating for you a little bit more of an advanced technique, and that is just basically how to create a piece of cloth. Here's my top viewport, so I'll start here. I'm going to start with a basic wavy curve, wavy control point curve. Then I'm going to create a second one. bumpy but not quite as much so and a third one longer than the others and much smoother now let's check out our front viewport we're gonna move this curve up this curve up a little bit and this curve down now I'm gonna go to transform bend and just bend these a little bit Let's do a quick loft and see what it looks like. Pretty simple, and as you can see, it looks like cloth, a hanging drape type shape, because we started with a tight curve here, and we extended out to a very smooth curve by the time we got to the bottom. Now then, another thing we could do with this is create somewhat of a cloth band. We could accomplish this by sweeping one rail. Let's try that and see what we've got here. As you can see, the curves each take their part flowing around the rail curve. And in this way, we've created sort of a cloth type shape. Another way to create a cloth type of feel would be to create a sphere use your drape tool delete the original sphere then the fastest way to cut it is going to be cutting plane here select the sphere or the drape split select cutting plane press enter delete what we don't need And then here we can stretch it out, and we can apply another drape to that. Use a bit of scaling. And so as you can see, we zoom in close, the drape tool creates sort of a draped look. Depending on the shape of your object, it can work in a similar way. Soft shapes are pretty easy to make in Rhino. Simply by starting with soft curves, control point curves, and then turning them into three-dimensional shapes. You can always adjust your curves for complexity. I can highlight points. And then go in here and change my control point weight. And you can see the effect that that has. So again, we can loft these, create another cloth type shape, 
And because this is actually a simple surface, it can be selected and transformed using our twist tool. and or our bend tool here. So there we have sort of a twisted bent drape shape.